Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. Some of you know me as John Doe. Right here in Tokyo, Japan. You know, I say this a lot often, guys, but just when we think the dirty can't get any more dirty, we are surprised once again. It has come to light the test records of 479 workers at Fukushima number one nuclear power plant contained false documentation uh, concerning the, uh, the actual amount of internal radiation they were exposed to. This comes from the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare. Now, the records of 452 of them have since been revised. And here are some of the numbers we get from this. Now, the Ministry said the Tokyo Electric Power Company which is the infamous plant operator of Fukushima number one, failed to allow government inspector inspections to make sure that its employees and contractors follow proper calculation protocols and that inadequate methods were employed to estimate the amount of internal exposure. That basically means TEPCO lied and TEPCO covered up how much exposure these employees were getting. Now in March, records of external exposure were found to be in error by up to several millisieverts in 63 individuals. The revised internal exposure calculation recorded 50 millisieverts in 24 individuals by the end of March 2013. Six of these individuals topped over 100 millisieverts of radioactive exposure. Now let's make this clear, the maximum dose limit for nuclear power plant workers by law in Japan is set at 100 millisieverts over a five year period. At least two individuals were known to continue to work after receiving that limit. Now these latest findings only increased concerns over the health effects that these individuals are under, these employees, these workers from radiation following the revelations that workers receive much greater exposure than originally reported. Now we gave even better. Now just to make it clear, about 20,000 people have worked at the stricken plant by end of 2011, nine months after the nuclear, multiple reactor meltdowns. Now what is protocol for this? Well, protocols call for individuals to be tested at the first sign of internal exposure. But radiation levels were not taken for several months after initial exposure due to a shortage of measuring devices. That's disgusting, all right? That's very disgusting. The TEPCO was not even prepared to give their workers proper radiation devices, proper Geiger counters. They could check themselves and they could know exactly the danger they're under. No ability to take care of their own health and no ability to know the exact risk they were under. This is just... It dumbfounds me. Alright? This type of thing dumbfounds me because currently TEPCO is actually applying to get the go-ahead to restart reactors in other areas of Japan. A company which can't even or unwilling to get the proper protection for people, for their own workers and their own contractors. This is the same company applying to restart nuclear reactors in Japan? It's ridiculous.
it's beyond belief. These things go on. But you have workers going into an extremely dangerous situation where their health is placed at a high amount of danger. I mean, if you're working at Fukushima, for unfortunately, it's a death sentence. And TEPCO continues to put these workers at extreme harm and risk. I got news for TEPCO. There is an actual limit to how much radi radioactive exposure a human being can be exposed to and shake it off, for lack of a better word. There's only a certain amount, it ain't very high, okay? To where someone's gonna have permanent damage. And these workers are forced into this position. Now what's causing this? Why is TEPCO do this? Like I've said before, it's corporatism, it's capitalism doing this. The need to cover their own asses. The need to continue to make profit. Because what have they got? They got nuclear power. That's the means of production they own. And they want to make cash off of it. Regardless of who gets hurt. Regardless of the dangers. Regardless of the clear and intimate problems of Fukushima Daiichi corporatists, capitalist individuals that care less, that go as far as falsifying numbers for workers who are exposed to these dangers. And they're right, guys. And they're right. And if you're watching this video, you should spread this around. I'll put an article that explains a lot of this in the description box of this video here on YouTube. As always, leave some comments in the comment box below. Make a video response as well, if you feel so fancy to do so. So until next time, it's me, Ryan, here in Japan, checking out.